Hello friends and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the bend modifier in 3D Studio Max. So without any further delay, let's get started. For the bend modifier, we must have some object in the scene. So for that, I'm creating one box. And whenever we are going to apply any of the modifiers, make sure the object is having enough number of segments so here in the box I'm increasing the number of segments so that we can get proper output after applying the modifier now once we have added the segments to the object second thing is select the object then go to the modifiers list in this we have uh, the parametric deformers in the parametric deformers we have something called bend so click on the bend once we click on the bend, we'll find some of the parameters here in the command panel. So after applying the bend modifier, we get these parameters in the command panel. Now first thing is we have to select the bend axis. So let's select the X axis and then we have to specify the bend angle that can be between 0 to 360. So let's type in 90. So once we type the angle, the object will start bending in the defined axis. Now if we want to bend it in the Y axis, we have to simply select the Y axis and you will notice that the object is now bending in the Y axis. Similarly, in case you want to bend it in the Z axis or the Z axis, select the Z axis and the object is now bending in the Z axis. Now inside this, you have an option that is called the direction. So currently the value is zero. We can change the direction of the bend and accordingly the object will deform. For the time being, I'll keep it to zero. Now inside this, we have an option that is called limit. Now when we activate the limit, it is going to add some restriction or we can say some constraint. And after that, uh, only a section of this object is going to be affected by the modifier. So let's activate this limit effect. The bend effect is lost. So we have to set the limit. Let's increase the upper limit. So this upper limit is the distance from the center of the bend. The center of the bend is located at the pivot of the object. So currently it is at the base of this object. Uh, so after activating the limit effect, you will notice that a particular section of this object is getting affected by the bend modifier, whereas the uh, remaining portion of the box is unaffected. So we can shift this upper limit as per our need, like this. And if I type in an angle of 360 degree, in that case only uh, the selected section is going to be uh, affected by the bend as you can see here in this example so let's bring this thing back to 90 degree now beside these parameters uh, in the stack we have something called the gizmo and the center so when we select the gizmo this gizmo is a kind of bounding box that uh, is covering this object so we can pull the gizmo out like this and accordingly the object is affected we can even rotate the gizmo and the direction of the bend will change. We can even scale the gizmo and accordingly the output is affected. So these are the things we can do with the gizmo. So let's see the other option that is the center. So when you click on this center option, center is the point where the bending actually starts. So we can shift the center up or down like this but uh, the center can be moved but cannot be rotated or scaled so here I am moving the center up and down and see we are changing the point of bend in this object now suppose we want to create a u-shaped bend in that case what we can do is we can set this center up upwards little bit like this and then in the angle we can type in 180 degree and you can see it is now having a u-shaped bend now we can even adjust this center and we have 
an object something like this. We can even apply the bend to the object multiple times. So suppose we want uh, to bend this object in this way. So for that we will apply one more bend over this object. So first select the object, go to modifiers, parametric deformers and bend. Now inside this bend we are getting these uh, the same parameters. So first thing is we have to select the axis limit and the angle. So currently what I have to do is I am going to change the center of the bend first. I will take it upwards because this is the point where I want to bend this object like this. Then let's put on the limit and afterwards we can type in the angle and as you can see the object is trying to uh, bend but it is actually tilting not bending so because the upper limit value is zero so we have to increase this value and then you will find some change in the object now this object is bending uh, the other way but uh, suppose i want to bend it in some other direction so for that you have you can change the direction from here let's make it 90 degree and you can see the object is now bending in the other direction let's increase the limit further and in the angle we will type 90 degree uh, you can see here we have this object now we can shift the center of the bend and we can even limit change the limit of this to fine tune the bend in the object and this is what we have got after applying the bend twice on this box so even after applying uh, these bend modifiers twice we still have these parameters and we can change the parameters of this box and accordingly refine the object so that is how we can use the bend modifier in 3d studio max hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching